In the previous video, we looked at a D-type flip-flop and how we can design sequential synchronous circuits that have the ability to save state. In this video, we are going to expand on that knowledge to make a simple counter circuit that counts every clock cycle. A D-type flip-flop allows us to store one bit of information. If we want to store a larger number that has multiple bits, then we can chain these D-types together to make what is called a register. Say we want to make a circuit that counts every clock cycle. We can use one of these registers to effectively store the current cycle that we are on. A basic hardware counter that does this looks something like this. We have a register, in this case an 8-bit one, that stores our current cycle count. And then we have an adder that adds the current cycle count to a literal 1. The output of the adder is then fed back into the input of the register, so that on the next positive clock edge, the value is updated in the register. Remember, the reset is also crucial. This enables us to know precisely what the starting state of the circuit is. This looks simple enough. Let's code this up in Verilog. In a similar fashion to the D-type example, we use an always underscore FF block that is triggered on the positive edge of our clock. Inside the body, we can then describe how we're going to update our count underscore out register. Remember, we are inside an always underscore FF block, so we should always use blocking assignments. To recap on that, please see the previous video. So in the body of our always FF block, we can write count underscore out, then a blocking assignment, and then assign it the current value of count underscore out plus an 8-bit literal value 1. This statement will read the current value of count underscore out, which is the output of a register, add one to it, and then assign the value into count underscore out on the next positive clock edge. There is just one last important thing that we are forgetting, the reset signal. Let's initialize count underscore out to zero when the reset signal is asserted. So we'll write if reset begin, count underscore out blocking assignment and then an 8-bit literal 0. OK, that should do it. Let's simulate this. Excellent, that looks good. Now we can take a quick look at the waveform. Great, you can see that every positive edge of the clock, the counter value is incremented. OK, don't forget to give the exercise a try and see you next video.